afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Get ready for Dodger baseball next on the show. Walker Bueller, a Kentucky-born right-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock-solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. So striding in, Fernando Tatis Jr., and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Should be in for a warm one this afternoon. 91 degrees, our first pitch temperature. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. At the plate now, Tommy Pham. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. To the plate now, Manny Machado. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch the down in the zone, think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on first. Got to regroup. Next to the plate for the Padres, Eric Hosmer. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Machado, the runner at first with two gone. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Here now the 2-2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Hey, d one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes because if they elevate... Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Padres leave one. It's the Padres nothing. Dodgers coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Chris Paddock, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Coming to the plate now, Mookie Betts. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. One one. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter.
In now, Max Muncy. There's ball four. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Next up for Los Angeles, Justin Turner. None out, runners at first and second. Outside, two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Set and the two and one pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. And the Dodgers have now taken a 3-0 lead. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. Boy, talk about a rough start to an inning, a three-run bomb, and then a base hit. This could get real ugly, Hero. Yeah, you can tell, Dan. He's going to have to execute a little bit better than that. They were sitting in that hitter's meeting, and they were ready. They're keeping their front shoulders in, looking for something up, out, over, and they are not missing it. So now to the plate, Jock Peterson. Hard hit ball to second. The second for one. Over to Hosmer, a double play. Next for the Dodgers, Corey Seager looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Here we go. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. A throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. You know, D-Row, that looked like a base hit all the way up the middle. A nice job there by the second baseman to get to it and make that jump throw to first base. Yeah, one of the tougher plays in our game. A lot of great second basemen in our sport make this look easy, but I'll tell you what, it's not. To throw the ball to first base while your entire body and momentum is headed towards left field is one of the most difficult things to do in our sport. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at 3-1, and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Three runs already home here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3-1, and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. Don't touch that dial or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this.
second inning set to go. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Trent Grisham. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Fouled away. Now another 1-2. Got him swinging in the dirt. Smith corrals it. The throw to first is in time. One down. Batting fifth. So the base is empty here with one away, and Jurickson Profar will be the next to bat. The three and one pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Batting seven. The catcher, Francisco. Stepping into the box, Francisco Mejia for his career in this matchup. He's hitless in three at bats. Here now the 2 2. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Standing in now, Franchi Cordero. And a cut fastball here that he started off a bit too far inside. It nearly got him. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Up next, it'll be the pitcher for the Padres, Chris Paddock. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us are back with more following this. Now in the box, Will Smith. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The two two. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. 3-2 pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. The pitcher, Walker Bueller, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. The 1-1. One -one. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground, and he will make a quick basket catch behind the plate for the first out. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie. Striding into the box, Mookie Betts. He reached on a single in his first try. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 
Runners on first with one down. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. Stepping in now, Max Muncy skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for L.A., but they lead it 3-0. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And this is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning it looked like this at bat had the makings of now a leadoff that. walk when it started 3-0 so that's oh, a good yeah. job not to give yeah. in and battle back to earn the strikeout that's not always easy to do to the plate now Tommy Pham now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate and the count moves to one and two now shot down the first baseline but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two and a swing and a miss and another punch out here six already and that's out number two pretty impressive back to back strikeouts to start the inning what's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Plate now, Manny Machado. Swung on and missed, one and two now. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. The one, two. Now a line, oh, and actually he can't hang on. Throw on to Muncy, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Padres down in order. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Bottom of the third now, and digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. The last at bat, Manny B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Nope. There's a That's fastball a well off the plate for a ball. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Cody Bellinger waits on deck. The 3 2 pitch. He can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 the miles an hour is good, 35. but not as impressive as it Cody. used to be. Professional hitters can Bellinger. catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. 
Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. He struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing any signs now of intimidation with these no middle-of-the-order guys. Yeah. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he the three and four that. guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Into the box now, Jock Peterson. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. And it's up to a three two full count now. Boy he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order too. Now the three and two pitch. Is swung on and missed he got him. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They lead it three to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Curveball grounded towards second. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The right fielder, number two. Digging Brent. in now for San Diego. Grisham. Trent Grisham. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Bases are empty. One man out. Hit out towards second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today. So he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward. But I'm not betting against him. So now to the plate. Jurickson Profar. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Bellinger is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. So we're on at first here with two gone in the inning and that'll bring in the catcher Francisco Mejia. He's set. Here comes the one one up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self defense there. It's two and two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for San Diego. They trail it here three to nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. 
bottom of the inning now and stepping up as the shortstop Corey Seager. Hit on the ground to short. He's got it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and that means the plug and play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. A full count, three balls and two strikes. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. One out, nobody on. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. Now batter, the catcher. Will. Now at the plate, Will Smith. He drew a walk his first time up. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. He stays alive, still two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Weak rounder back to the mound. Oh, but they throw it away at second. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. So one out here with runners at first and third. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Walker Bueller. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And he fouls this one off. Another 1-2 delivery. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect world. Jump ahead 0-2, and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. Three runs, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Dodgers strand a couple, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, Heidi, thank you. Into the box now, Franchi Cordero reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now the one and one pitch. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bellinger will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Now that Digging in for his second at bat. Chris Paddock hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. And the Padres pitcher behind with a one and two count. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Up next for the Padres, the shortstop, Fernando. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And now a pitch on the way. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Tommy Pham would be next. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And it's gone. A solo shot here to left. And the Padres are on the board. It's now a 3-1 to one game. Baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys that would just draw walks and steal bases? But that's not the case anymore. Guys like this, they have pop in their bat, and they can go deep. Standing in now, Tommy Pham. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. The 2 2 one more time. You got a full count. Three, Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. That's popped up. Hernandez is there, and the side is retired. Padres draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up to throw. Oh, and ouch. That one drilled him. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. Uh, and this has to be a big concern here. This ball came back and got him right in the pitching arm. And that is something you just never want to see. You can see him trying to work this one off. And from all appearances, I think they're going to let him continue. So that at least is a good sign. To the plate now, Justin Turner. 
hard hit toward the hole. Machado is there. Profar for one. Over to Hosmer. A double play. The center fielder, number 35, Cody. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Now the one-and-one one pitch is looked at for ball number two. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Bellinger connects as this is deep to right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger. And the Dodgers move out in front now, 4 to 1. You could tell by the sound of that one off the bat that was going a long way. At the plate, Jock Peterson. One and two now as that one's fouled off. dropped out on him and that's a strikeout the throw to first is in time and the inning is over but the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run five innings complete it's now four to one L.A. and in steps Manny Machado he's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. The one and one pitch. Popped up. Muncie waits on it. One down. Now First baseman the Eric first baseman. Hosmer is in. Eric. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. In tight with the slider two and two some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing one run on three hits and one error for the Padres so far and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt it's full now three and two that pitch was way down on two and two but give the hitter some credit there sometimes with two strikes you're more off to expand the strike zone but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close he throws him on the breaking ball that time Eric Hosmer sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Now the one and one pitch. Count is one and two now. And the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Lazy fly ball out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. 
Three up, three down for San Diego. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Luis Perdomo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 61, Luis Perdomo. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. The 1-1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at bat, but then went back to back once he had the hitter down in the count. In now, Kike Hernandez. So a full count now. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. Three two pitch. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now batting. Catcher. Will. Stepping up to the plate, Will Smith. And error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Stepping in now, Walker Bueller. Fly ball right down the line and left. And no one will track it down. The one two gets him looking up around the letters. Dodgers leave one, but they lead it four to one. Dylan Floro is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 51. Dylan Floro. All set for the start of the inning, and Jurickson Profar will be the next to bat. This is fouled at the plate. The one and two pitch. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. So now to the plate, Francisco Mejia. And right into the shift. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Debra, with that stacked infield on the right side. To hit it through where the shift is, you have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there. Got him to hit it where he wanted to. But good. Oh, and he can't come up with it. There's one relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Greg Garcia will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number five, Greg 
Garcia. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. Hit softly on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Padres leave one. They trail it four to one. Craig Stammen gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Craig Stammen. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Here we go. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that's in there, base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A-B. At the plate now, Max Muncy. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Justin Turner will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hard hit ball to second. To second for one. On to first, and they get them both. Not what you expect from your three-hole hitter when the first two guys get on base. That's pretty deflating. But now we'll see if the cleanup guy can still pick up the runner at third. So a runner at third, two men are out, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Two and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. All even now, two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One left for L.A. as they hold on to a four to one lead. Pedro Baez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52, Pedro Fernando Tatis Jr. will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. One one. Two ball, one strike. Baez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. He's set and the two-one pitch. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not gonna stay fair. The two-two. 
And it's fouled away. Line to the right side. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. But it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box, Tommy Pham. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Now here's the pitch. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. The third baseman, number 13, Manny Here's Manny Machado now. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. him up Muncie moving to his left two down Kenley Jansen is called upon with two out in the eighth as he's asked to complete a four out save now pitching for the Dodgers number 74 Kenley Jansen Eric Hosmer will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Now a throw over oh, back dead. in standing. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes down. So look now the pitch fouled off eighth inning four to one is our score throw over to first runners back here's another one two shoots this one over to first and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for San Diego, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Drew Pomerantz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. of inning number eight set to go and in steps a former World Series hero the outfielder Jock Peterson the one one home waves and misses for strike number two this pitcher's bringing it with some high velo you better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you fouled away The one two. 
high and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Again, a 1-2. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. The 3 2 pitch. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Standing in now, Corey Seager. A ball and two strikes. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The one two is taken for ball two. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Too high, and that cost him ball four. The batter number 14, second baseman, DK. So a runner at first now with one away, and that means the plug and play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two one pitches, a knuckle curve taken for called strike two. The two two. Fouled off. Runner at first here, one man out. hit the other way out toward right field. Grisham is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now so stepping in Will Smith over two with a walk for him so far. Pomerant sets one one on its way grounded back up the middle and that's through for a hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. AJ Pollock will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Two men are on with two men out. Good break on the knuckle curve, but he missed with it. Two and one. Pollock in front, three balls and a strike. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Dodgers strand a couple, but they lead it 4-1. to one. Blake Trinan comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. 
Now at the play, Trent Grisham. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 2 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. two. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. At the plate, Jurickson Profar. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. The one-two. Rounded down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. And the Padres are down to their final out now. So digging in now, Francisco Mejia. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Two out, nobody on. Fouled away. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And he fouls this one off. San Diego down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The Los Angeles Dodgers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Walker Bueller pitches well enough to get the W. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final live show this afternoon for the victorious Dodgers. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Padres, one run, four hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game. Two